what an amazing time it is to be living with type 1 diabetes in 2022 and see the evolution of diabetes technology. I say this both personally and professionally. My brother was diagnosed with type 1 in 1977. In the days of urine glucose testing and animal insulin, I was diagnosed in 1984. The advent of blood sugar testing. And here we are today in 2022, both wearing hybrid closed loop systems. And I'm so proud of the role JDRF played. I was fortunate to be a scientist on the team in 2005 that launched what we called the JDRF Artificial Pancreas Project. Since then, we funded over $100 million in research. We focused on continuous glucose monitors, something that, again, my brother and I, and now tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people around the world are benefiting from, funded a pivotal trial that showed the effectiveness of CGM devices and was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And then we focused on closing the loop. Back then, people said, oh, you can't do this. You know, you can't deliver insulin subcutaneously. You might kill people. The sensors aren't accurate enough. We did the research. We showed that it could be done. And today in 2022, we have three commercially available systems, Medtronic, Insulet, and Tandem. And we have DIY, what we call do-it-yourself systems that people have put together, built their own algorithms, and allow people to control their diabetes off their cell phones. So over $100 million over the last 15 years, but it's working. Now I wear two hats. I wear the hat of a scientist in the diabetes field and a person with diabetes. Now the scientists and clinical people, we often think of glycemia. And we know these hybrid closed loop systems work there. They improve glycemia, more time in range, better A1C, less hypoglycemia. And it works across the spectrum. It works for people who have tight control and it works for people who struggle with their diabetes. We've seen A1Cs come down from 10s down into the sevens. And we see people who have 6.5s maintain those A1Cs with less hypoglycemia. The glycemic benefits are profound. But as a person with diabetes, it's more than just glycemia. And I think we have to appreciate that there's more to life than diabetes. And hybrid closed loop systems help improve our quality of life whether it's sleep, sleeping through the night, fewer alarms, um, less anxiety about lows. The life around diabetes, it's not just the person, it's my wife, it's my kids, it's my parents. This ecosystem that evolves around and, and, and supports the person with diabetes benefit from these technologies as well. So I often use a teeter-totter uh, analogy, glycemia and quality of life. The beauty of these hybrid systems is they're helping on both fronts. So I often joke that you'll never find somebody who doesn't have diabetes who wears an insulin pump. And by that I mean people with diabetes wear pumps because they benefit their life, their health, their quality of life. But it's not like somebody out in the world who doesn't have diabetes puts a, a pump on for kicks. And that's an important uh, distinction because ultimately the goal of JDRF is to drive to a future where we don't have to wear pumps. That we get all of the benefits of better glycemic control and lifting the burden of diabetes management off our shoulders through cellular or immunotherapies. And we're seeing amazing progress on that front, well, whether it's stem cell derived islets, immunoregulatory cells, different drugs that might reduce the burden of the immune response of type 1 diabetes. And I think the future is incredibly bright for a day where we can take our pumps off and move to endogenous insulin production again in type 1 people.